Our first guest tonight reports that before the president fired Comey, Comey had told Congress the president was not a target of the FBI investigation. Joining me now is Sarah Carter, national security and war correspondent for Circa News. Sarah, good to have you with us. And the, this is exculpatory uh, as far as these uh, fake news uh, charges keep springing up. Uh, saying that the uh, that it's just improper that uh, that Comey would have said such a thing to the president, trying to cast doubt that he actually did say that to the president, you have validation uh, for the statements he made. Yes, and you know, for months, for months, we have been reporting this. I mean, several months ago, uh, John Solomon and I broke the first story that actually revealed that neither Trump nor anyone in his immediate circle was uh, part of an investigation into the collusion with Russia. Now, there were extenuating circumstances to this. What we discovered today is that Grassley, as well as Senator Feinstein, validated this. There are so many myths out there, Lou, that are not real. And I think that's what's happening with this, is that people want these myths and these rumors to go away that Trump well, somehow, a, President Trump, was in collusion yeah. with the Russians you or know, any of his top aides. I, I think, uh, let, let me put it f uh, forward here uh, as, just as straight as I possibly can. The President of the United States right now is a target, but he is a target of the largest, most expansive, venomous, this information campaign I have ever seen conducted against any political official, let alone any president in our history. This is, in, yes, this is an intensification of targeting President Trump. We saw today that a number of stories yesterday were not accurate. Those stories were not accurate. They were debunked by McCabe and they were debunked by others. So um, I think what the president here is what we've got to look at this. If the president is not under an investigation, if what Grassley and Senator Feinstein both say is true, then his firing of Comey has nothing to do with him being under investigation because he's not under investigation. It has to do with the way di former Director Comey handled the situation. And even if Director Comey personally told Donald Trump, as he suggests, that he was not under investigation, that's also a problem because the director is supposed to remain impartial. He's not supposed to talk about investigations at all. And we know from going all the way back to last year that he kept coming in and out of the public limelight, making comments about these investigations. Uh, yeah. and, and it was like he wanted to have his cake and eat it, too. And that just does not work in Washington. Uh, does not work in Washington. Nothing seems to work so well in Washington as... Uh, uh, as the personal attacks, the politics of personal destruction. Uh, it, it's instructive, I think, to go back to uh, a statement made by Senator Chuck Schumer, or crying Chuck, as the president has labeled him, on January 3rd, and let's put this up if we may, the uh, exact quote, uh, Senator Schumer warning the president, let me tell you, you take on the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday at getting back to you. Extraordinary, uh, the warning uh, that, uh, and the consequences, frankly, persist. Uh, and they really do. It's a strange thing that's happening in the national left wing media, I think, Sarah. Mm -hmm. We're and hearing it, lots of, uh, you know, everyone stirs up things and wants to talk about what the president should have done, should not have done, will do, won't do. When, point of fact, what we are witnessing is a national left wing media that is attacking with an unprecedented ferocity a man without any facts without any purpose other than partisan. When you look at the facts, uh, Lou, you look at what happened with Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. I mean, it's, it's, I don't think it's just about the media. I mean, it's about a group of people that have a particular objective and, and they consistently push a, a propaganda message or disinformation, or I would call it in the military, they call it psyops, a psychological mm -hmm. operation to try to push a story out that is not validated or not true. And if you just look at the facts here, you know that one, right now, as far as Everyone knows, and this includes statements coming from Grassley, coming from Senator Feinstein, as well as the president, President Trump, 
is not under investigation for collusion with Russia. But yet that persists in the media. It persists yeah. out there all the time. And you look at what happened to Lieutenant General Michael Flynn when he was with the president as, you know, the national security advisor. Um, so we have to ask ourselves these questions. Are we just going to continue to propagate this? Because I think that feeds into the well, Russian narrative more yeah. than anything else. I can assure you we are not going to propagate that, the blown pick it up uh, at the beginning. Uh, or uh, it's just unimaginable. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the standards that have descended in the, in, the, in the craft of journalism in particular. But also, when we look at this president uh, and his team working against this psyops, as uh, you put it, the psychological operations, what I call a disinformation campaign, by the national left-wing media, by the Democratic Party, the, uh, the deep state, uh, it is it's quite remarkable that no one seems to want to say, wait a minute, we have too much integrity to persist, no matter what their corporate bosses were urging and demanding. But these journalists who once were journalists uh, are persisting in carrying out without integrity, uh, without principle, uh, a, a vicious attack uh, for which there is absolutely no excuse, no rationalization.